Hello, this is Gio, and today I'd like to talk about fuses, specifically how to test whether a fuse is good or bad. Now, I do have a bunch of fuses here. They're all basically the same shape. Um, these are all for kind of electronic devices. This is a 4 amp uh, fuse. This is a 5 amp fuse, fast blowing. This one's also 2 amp fuse. This is a little smaller than this one. Uh, there's also these called slow blow fuse, which takes more. Uh, than just an instant, instant to blow if if, uh, if they blow. Now what fuses do is essentially what a fuse is, is is a type of resistor and it's a resistor specifically designed as kind of a sacrificial kind of resistor. So if in, in this case a 4 amp fuse, if the current going through here exceeds the 4 amps, the, uh, the resistor or wire in there will overheat and blow or melt and break and therefore cut off the current and so it, they're a sacrificial device and when their their job is to blow if the current is too high so if you need to change these um, quite often there's a reason why these blows blow and you might need to diagnose why they've blown but sometimes you could just replace them and everything works just just fine as well but you do need to know how to test these and that's what I'll be t um, talking about next so there's a number of different uh, tools to use that you could uh, test fuses with uh, but the one that I like I prefer is just the standard digital multimeter and this is just my standard Radio Shack one comes with uh, these two leads, red and black, and a dial here, which you could just turn and, and select what you want to test, including voltage, ohms. But what we want to test a fuse for is what's called continuity. And continuity, what continuity is, is when you touch these two leads to either side of this, um, this fuse, if, if there is a current going through from one lead through the fuse to the other lead, that means the fuse is good because the wire has not broken or the fuse have, has not blown. And so the continuity, I'm not sure if you could see this, but it's typically, uh, it's, it's almost like a little speaker sound wave because when you uh, turn it to continuity and you touch the two leads, it makes a little beep telling you that there is continuity um, and there is a circuit between them. So we take our fuse, we just touch one lead and the other lead, and this fuse is good, meaning that it does have continuity between one side or another. Uh, the wire that's in the fuse is still intact, it's still uh, creating a circuit. So um, there are other types of tools specifically created to test continuity. This one has multiple different settings. You could buy tools, specifically little pen tools, um, just for continuity. You could also uh, build these uh, battery type circuits where you have a little battery pack, an LED light to create a circuit and then touch um, in between. And when the LED light um, goes on, you know you have a circuit and you have continuity. So, um, but I, I do, uh, if you have a digital multimeter, the easiest way is just to set it to continuity. And so this one we did determine was good. I could touch the leads again. And this was a 4 amp um, fuse. So I'm going to take a different fuse, this is also a 4 amp fuse, and try this one. Now this one doesn't make any sound at all and I happen to know for a fact that this one has blown and if your eyesight is good or if you have a magnifying glass you could actually look into this glass and notice that the wire in there is basically uh, blown or frayed or uh, broken apart and actually partly melted so uh, you could either do it visually but some, a lot of fuses uh, are either covered some of them have a ceramic covering uh, some of them have a paper covering, some of them are more complex, uh, either they have an insulation and a wire wrapping. Sometimes it's very difficult to tell visually if a fuse is blown. And so you want to test with uh, some kind of device whether it has continuity. So that is how you test fuses. I hope this helps you. I hope you enjoy listening to your continuity music 
and I'll I'll see you next time. Bye bye.